Hi everyone, my name is Andrew Ramey. I'm the new academic advisor for the history department and this week I'll be telling you about our majors and introducing you to some of our faculty. A lot of people think history is just about old buildings and dead people, but the truth is historians use the past to engage the present. So if you're interested in learning more about history and taking more classes, you should contact me. We have two majors that I'm in charge of, social and political history and global studies. Our global studies major allows students to explore issues they care about both across space around the world and back through time. You can see some of our capstone research projects. The global studies curriculum combines anthropology, history, language, and cultural studies to allow students to explore issues they care about around the world and in different contexts. With global studies, we encourage students to take advantage of study abroad and really immerse themselves in cultures and languages they care about and want to learn more about. Our other major, social and political history, allows undergrads to work closely with faculty on cutting edge research projects about issues they care about. With only two required courses and electives ranging from the roots of rock and roll to Moneyball Nation, SPH students have the flexibility and freedom to pursue the interests they care about. A major in history can give you a leg up on the competition because you can work closely with faculty and develop your research and writing skills. I was a history major in undergrad, and I've been asked every version of the what can you do with history question. The truth is, anything you want. Students who major in history are admitted to prestigious graduate schools, get jobs at Fortune 500 companies, work for government, and serve in the nonprofit sector. In short, students who major in history get access to one-on-one -on -one interactions with faculty, develop great research and writing skills, and are able to chart their own course. One of the great things about studying history at CMU is you get to work closely with so many of our amazing faculty. I'd like you to meet Christopher Phillips. Hi. Hi, I'm Chris Phillips. I'm an assistant professor of history here, and I teach classes in history of science, history of medicine, American history, and even history of education. You may not think you want to take a history course, but I teach courses that talk about the history of baseball, about data in American life, all kinds of things that you might be interested in. You may have come to college thinking you want to study science, but science has a history, and you need to know what it's there for, who does it, why they do it the way they do it, and what they care about. I got interested in history not because I was interested in a succession of names and dates, but because I really wanted to know what makes people tick, why they do the things they do. Only history can tell you how to critically examine how we got to where we are now. Employers consistently report that what separates one applicant from another is not just the skills, but the ability to think critically about those skills, and that's what history provides. So if you're interested in taking more classes in history, you may be wondering, what's the next step? What are the requirements to be a major in history? Well, I've got the answers for you. If you're interested in majoring in global studies, you need to take 102 units, which breaks down to about 11 courses, one of which, as a Dietrich student, you already have to take global histories. Global studies students also have to demonstrate proficiency in a language, but are free to take a wide range of regional and thematic electives. One of our recent grads, Kristen, was able to combine her interest in French and global studies and use her capstone paper as the writing sample for her graduate school applications. Global studies prepares students to succeed at all levels. Eight of our alums have won prestigious Fulbright fellowships, and current senior Michaela recently won a Truman Scholarship. Our other major, social and political history, is one of the most flexible at Carnegie Mellon. This pairs great as an additional major or a primary major with something else you're interested in. Students who major in social and political history take a total of 93 units, including global histories, and are free to pursue a wide range of electives on regional and topical courses. All SPH majors take Introduction to Historical Research and Writing and the Capstone Historical Research Seminar, where they conduct individualized projects using archival and other primary sources. Whether you're interested in majoring in global studies or social and political history or just thinking about a minor, come see me and I can tell you more about our great course offerings.